Not. But still, in your mind that I want a clean fight. I will enforce a clean fight. I guarantee that I will disqualify you. Or I, you I will disqualify you. Or I will take points from you if you don't follow the rules, okay? They, uh, they wanted to uh, come to the one in February when they thought I was fighting in February. They were talking about coming. Uh, how would it feel in there? It was a good, good competitive fight. Uh, a tough guy fought a tough guy. Um, I was more skilled, but he was tough. And uh, at the beginning of the first round, the first jab I landed, I felt like my knuckles, I felt like I hurt something. You know, I don't think the doctor says it's not broke, but my knuckles was bothering me the whole fight, so I had to kind of compensate for that. But it was good work. You know, five I stopped him in the fifth. I opened up a couple cuts, so it was a good fight. Um, you know, I had I had like an eight-month layoff, so I'm glad I'm glad I was able to get in and get a couple rounds. But now we build from here, get sharper, get better, and, and keep progressing. Okay, you mentioned eight-month layoff. In recent months, you yeah. got some work in Big Bear, yeah, finished yeah, yeah. camp at yeah. Floyd's. Yeah. Uh, just what are your thoughts just on the West Coast work you've been getting? Oh, uh, it's outstanding. Um, and I'm just thankful that I got a coach that, that stuck with me and kept me active and kept me busy because even though I wasn't fighting, I was still training. So that's why I wasn't really rusty or nothing. So um, 
you know, I, I got mad love for the West Coast. It's like my second home, so um, anytime I'm getting ready for a fight, nine times out of ten, I'm going to be on the West Coast. Any ideas on your next fight? Um, Probably sometime in August. Hopefully I can get on that September 14th card like every fighter in the world want to be, so uh, we'll see.